Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things. And in today's video, I'm going to go back and look at everything I hauled on my channel two years ago in May of 2018. I've been doing this series since January to kind of look back at my spending habits of the past and help influence my spending habits of the present day. So if you guys are interested in seeing everything I hauled on my channel two years ago, then keep on watching. Let's go. Okay, we have quite a few, uh, few videos to go through, so we're going to start with an Ulta haul that came with a bag of freebies. That's the typical MO for my Ulta hauls on this channel. Okay, so anything that I do not still own, I will insert pictures of, and the first thing that I referred to in this video was I got a foil packet stamp of the NARS Laguna bronzer, and that's what, I really liked that little foil packet, and I actually went on to what I think, what I thought was by Laguna when I was at TJ Maxx one day, but it was a different formula. So I still yearn for Laguna, but it's a little bit expensive for my taste, but that was my first uh, taste of Laguna. Next, there were some brands that had buy one, get one half off deals. And the first was Maybelline. And that is where I bought my loose fit me powder. And I actually tried to use this up in, I think it was February's Shot My Stash, but there's still about that much product left in here. So I think it's a product I definitely should be able to finish up this year. And while I think it's a really good product for the drugstore, it's not one that I feel like I need to buy. And at the price points, I'm kind of really liking the e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder, and that's probably about half the price of this product, so I don't think I'm going to buy this again. I also got this product. This is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Gel, and at first I hated this because I didn't understand how it worked. <laughs> so I thought you ran this thing through your brows, and it was like slob kebab city. But what I found was if I take it and I use like a a literal angled brush and like I draw in my eyebrows. It really is a nice product. It does last, does have that like tattoo thing where it's not gonna budge your brows. I guess it's really good for like the summertime and like sweating, <laughs> but when this completely dries up, I'm not going to buy it again because I so rarely reach for brow gels like this anyway. You guys, I'm sorry if I seem like I'm out of breath. Scott put on a Richard Simmons <laughs> video downstairs right before I was filming and I was like jokingly dancing with it and now I'm like dying. Okay, I got another free sample and this was a sample of the Tarte Maniderm Mascara. I used it and I did not like this mascara. It had a very strange like prickly wand where I didn't feel like it did anything for the lashes and all it did was separate. So if like I had a clumpy mascara, I could use it to like comb out the clumps, but that was about all I really got out of that mascara. Also, if you're wondering about my Mickey shirt, check out my Disney haul. <laughs> all right. Another buy one get one half off was Makeup Revolution and I actually grabbed two of the Conceal and Define concealers and I think it was last month I finished up my last one that I had and it's a nice concealer but there are other more hydrating options available at the drugstore these days that I like. Like I really like the Conceal and Hydrate over the Conceal and Define. Did I say Conceal and Hydrate before? It's the Conceal and Define I bought two of. Yeah, so I obviously really liked those considering I bought two at once. <laughs> Pacifica was also buying it with half off and one of the products I bought was this. This is the Hardcore Happy Shimmering Hair and Body Mist. Vanilla Tuberose Coconut and Quartz Crystal Infused. I don't know. It's like a body spray. I don't really know what the hair mist part means. It smells really good. I don't honestly know why I don't reach for it. I've kind of put my Boom Boom, my Sol de Janeiro body spray farther away from where like I get ready because I feel like I have so many sprays that smell good but I like that one more so I'm trying to like use the ones I have but yeah, this is a fine spray. It's not my all-time favorite. It's not something I would want to buy like another scent of or repurchase, but it's good enough for what it is. I also got from Pacifica the Ginger Root Hair Volumizer, and I actually recently de wound up decluttering this. I just didn't find it did anything for volume as far as my roots go, and when I do need volume, I honestly just wind up spraying a texture spray in at, at, in at this point. Okay, and then what was in our freebie bag? Hey, hey. We had the Vita Liberata Self Tanning Lotion. I definitely used this whole product up. I have had hit and miss products with Vita Liberata products. I can't really specifically remember what I thought of this one, so I can't really speak to it. There was a, there were samples of the Purology Purple Bottle Shampoo and Conditioner. I can't really remember what, how these performed. I feel like I remember they smelled really good, but I don't really remember how they performed, so. Again, it wasn't a memorable. Okay, this one I haven't even tried. This is the Bumble and Bubble Invisible Oil. 
I didn't even realize this is a heat protectant. So I think when I'm done with my current heat protectant, I'm gonna pull this one in and try it out because I still have yet to try it and shame on me. I wound up getting three perfume samples in this bag. I got the Bedhead Masterpiece hairspray. Now, I don't know if this is the same one or if it's one that I've gotten since, but I wouldn't be surprised if it is the same one because I go through hairspray so infrequently that there's a pretty good chance that this could be the same one. I like this, but I so rarely use hairspray that I just use the free ones I get. I don't ever buy hairspray. I got a sample of MAC strobe cream. I feel like this is one of those products that I get free samples of constantly. It's fine. It just kind of gives like an illuminating effect. I don't think it's anything super special. You can totally get the same type of product in the drugstore, not something I'd buy myself. I got a sample of Benefit Professional. I have talked about this recently on my channel when I got it in my BoxyCharm last month, but this is not a product I like. I have used it in the past and I assume since I did get it in this bag, I probably wound up get uh, donating it. I got this little lip gloss. This is the Urban Decay High Fi Shine Ultra Cushion Lip Gloss in the shade Naked. I, in the shade Naked. I actually really do like this lip gloss. It's so tiny and I can tell it's almost empty. I was going to ideally put it in a project pan, but hoo, I am going through those products so slowly. So this might be done before that project pan ever happens. But I do like this. This is a very like minty tingly lip gloss if you do not like that. So I haven't heard a lot about these lip glosses though I feel like, but I did like, I do like this product. I got from the brand Kenra their Miracle Leave-In spray and I remember not liking this product at all. <laughs> and that's all I remember. From Skin Iceland, I got their Hydro Cool Eye Gels, and I think this is the first time I ever got them to be able to try it, and since then, I have raved about them. They are my favorite under eye gels. I have bought them, I have used them, I have none left in my collection right now, but I really do like those. I got a sample of the Too Faced Hangover Face Primer. I like this product, it's fine. It's not an all-time favorite for me, like if I get samples of it, I'll use it, but it's not something I like enough to go buy. It's a little bit thinner than I like a primer to be. I got a NYX, I got a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, which I really have always loved these products. However, I got the shade Prague, which was like a purple, so I wound up donating that. I got a Shiseido Moisturizing Cream. I have used this cream, I think maybe two or three times, and it's gotten to the point where the fragrance in that product is so strong and like perfumey strong that it hurts my head and I can't use it. I got this, this is from the Ulta Beauty brand, and this is their cream eyeshadow liner in the shade Naked Truth. And it's really pretty. I haven't used it in a while. I really should bring it into the shop my stash, but I wonder if you can even, yeah, there it is. It's really pretty. So I should bring that into a shop my stash soon. I got a Daily Concepts Gentle Face Scrubber. I don't actually think I've ever used this product anytime I've gotten it. I don't like to use scrubbing sponges on my face. So I probably donated that. I got the Real Chemistry 3 Minute Peel. I have zero memory of this, so I cannot speak to it. I got a sample of the Tarte Ready Set Radiant Mist, and I really do like this product. I have about halfway in this one, which is a full size that I got after that from BoxyCharm, so I fully finished up the mini. I about a third of the way through this one. I will say this is a very, very dewy spray, so like I can't imagine somebody who is oily liking this because sometimes this is even too dewy for me. I got the Peter Thomas Roth Irish Moore Mud Cleansing Gel, and I remember this one specifically being one of the very first ever <laughs> face cleansers that I could not fully finish up because it just made me so unhappy. It kind of reminds me of the face cleanser I'm using currently that I'm trying to get through. But yeah, I did not like that product at all. I got the Lancome Monsieur Big Waterproof Mascara. I really liked this product. I actually took one on vacation with me over the holiday season. Yeah, I really like that. I would use it again. Something that's in my shop, my stash that I hauled on my channel two years ago is the Laura Lee Los Angeles Nudie Patootie Palette. This is my favorite neutral palette that I own. I'm gonna be very careful because this shadow is very delicate, but it just performs so well and so easily. And I don't watch Laura Lee's channel necessarily as much as I once did. However, I still would recommend this palette as a high, high quality nude, nude, neutral, very simple everyday kind of shadow look palette. It is kind of expensive, but I do see that she puts it on sale fairly often if you are looking for just like a staple palette for like your everyday needs. Then I had a Walmart beauty box. First product in that was a unicorn bath bomb. I did not use that product back two years ago this time. We did not have a bathtub, so whenever I would get bath products, I would give those away. I would give them away. I got the Soft Soap Coconut Fig Body Wash, and I remember not liking the way this smelled. I'm honestly not the biggest fan of soft soap products in general. I remember when I was really little, 
that was like the soap we always had like in our bathrooms and the, I don't know, just like not my favorite. I got the Hello Sensitivity Toothpaste. I'm sure we used that. <laughs> I don't really remember it. Hello isn't necessarily my all time favorite brand of toothpaste, but when I get samples of it, I use it. I got the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. I mean, that's a lotion I've been using on and off since I was in high school. It's kind of a tried and true product out there. So I did use that. I got a Clairol hair tie and a coupon for hair dye. Uh, I did not get hair dye, so <laughs> that was basically nothing. I got a So AE sleeping mask. Typically a Walmart beauty box comes with a mask from So AE. I don't really like sleeping masks, so I think I wound up getting rid of, I wound up donating that. I got another common occurrence in the Walmart beauty boxes are these little samples of the Garnier Whole Blends shampoo and conditioner. It's actually a really nice shampoo and conditioner, but I had gotten so many of these samples over the years, it's insane. Okay, and then I had a haul from Toys R Us because I can't even believe that it's now been two years since Toys R Us closed, but I knew Toys R Us had like a Claire's inside of it and I wanted to see kind of what I could find. So one of the things I hauled in that video are my cat ears. So these came in a set. I usually wear the white ones because they're just always the closest to me, but if you ever see these, <laughs> this is from the Toys R Us closing haul. Uh, I got this little hand sanitizer that was shaped like a turtle. That is actually right now at this moment sitting on my desk at work. It's like the hand sanitizer raised at work. <laughs> I got a donut lip gloss. I have no idea what happened with that. I don't know if I finished that ever. I got kids press on nails because back then I was like in this like zone where I was like, I can't wear regular press on nails. I have extremely tiny fingernails. Like that is literally my pinky nail. So I was like, I can wear kids nails. Like I was so in this like mindset of like wanting to try kids press on nails and then I never did it. I did wind up donating those. <laughs> I did get some jewelry, which at first I could not find. And then I did some digging this morning to try to find them and I found them. I am, first of all, so bad at remembering to wear jewelry. And literally all this jewelry I found this morning, I literally hadn't unpacked since we moved into our house last January. So the first thing is a choker. So I'm like a little 90s nostalgic child. So it's like this choker, it's actually really cute and I should wear it more often or any jewelry in general. I got a pair of cactus earrings. I even put them on for you guys. They're little cactuses. Cactuses are my favorite plant because they are prickly, just like me. And then, <laughs> this is sad. I didn't even ever use these. I mainly got this set because they were a little pair of black cats. So, I don't know. I might not even open these and I might just donate these because it's a perfectly good set of like little kitty earrings. <laughs> oh man. Okay, then we had my Ipsy Glam Bag, and I did do a point redemption this month, and I got the Clinique Surge Moisturizer. I remember using this and really liking it. I always have so many moisturizers in my backups. I don't remember the last time I actually had to buy my own moisturizer. Um, I got the Tony Moly Painting Therapy Pack Mask. This was just like a, a gray clay, I think, mask, and it was really nice. I actually really liked it. Tony Moly typically has very high quality products, so I really enjoyed that. I got the Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. I did not like this setting powder at all. It was very white and kind of left a cast and I did wind up decluttering that. Okay, we got a single shadow and it's in my single shadow palette. So this is from Elizabeth Mott and this shade is called Mermaid Teal. It's right up here. It's really pretty actually, but I I never reach for that because I am boring. I also got a nail polish and this is from the brand Adesse and this is in the shade Eau Cabana Boy and it's a really pretty like periwinkle color. So I have my fingers actually pink ombre right now and I was thinking the next ombre I'm gonna do is blue. I did think it was odd though because the month before I'd also gotten a blue nail polish. So I thought that was really weird. And then I also got a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Cairo. This one was way too nude for my skin tone and I wound up decluttering it. But I also thought it was weird because I'd also got a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream the month before as well. So that was a weird month for Ipsy. Then we had BoxyCharm. First thing I got was the Cover FX Blurring Primer. I actually just checked to see if I still had it because I thought maybe there was a chance I did, but I do not. I have decluttered that. That is very, very similar to the Benefit Professional, which is a reason I do not still own it. We got this really expensive powder brush from Aesthetica. First of all, look at how mine is like <laughs> molted over time. Every time I wash it, I'm convinced the handle is going to fall off. This is the worst quality brush that I own. So take that with a grain of salt. Uh, we got a lip gloss from Beauty Creations, which 
I got rid of it. I did not like that at all. We got the Pretty Vulgar eyeliner and it was like in a little fancy pot. I did not like that. I did not keep that. I don't know where the third one. We got a three piece brush set from Aesthetica. These are also really not very good brushes. I am considering doing a brush declutter. I don't do declutters a lot on my channel. They stress me out. <sighs> also, I don't want to do declutters right now because the box I have right now to send to Project Beauty Share is overflowing and I don't really know what to do about it. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe I'll do a brush declutter because out of everything, that's kind of where I think I could make some dents, but yeah, horrible quality. <laughs> and we also got this sculptor palette from Pure. Honestly, not an all-time babe, I will say. It smells delicious, but I love this highlighter up here. Let's see if it can catch it. Do you see it? There it is, right there. It's my favorite part of this palette and maybe when I'm self tan this summer, I'll try reaching into this palette some more because it is a little dark for my normal skin tone. Then we had a Target Beauty Box and the first thing was the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer SPF 55. We used it, I don't really have any specific memories of it. I got a body scrub from Soap and Glory. I think I did like that. I typically have good experiences with Soap and Glory products. I'm actually wearing their foundation today. We, I got the La Roche-Posay Lipicar Balm. I think I like this again, I can't really remember. When you try so much, it's very hard to ha to stick out. It's very hard for certain products to stick out if they don't really make a big impact. Uh, I don't think this is from that exact pack, but I did get a pack of like these kind of like bobble things. I do like them, but I'm more of a scrunchy person, honestly. I got the OGX Coconut Oil Dry Shampoo, and I can tell you I do not like this product. I have tried it now like two or three times, and it just is not strong enough for the oil production that comes out of my head. I got this body mist. This is from Free and Lovely. And this is the Lavender and Amber Refreshing Mist. It's, I like can't see through, but I think it's like about here. It actually does smell good. I'm not a big lavender person, but because it has the amber mixed in, it's actually a really nice scent. So I do like this a lot. I got the St. Ives Cleansing Stick and I did use this, but it wound up getting gross and I couldn't finish it. The idea of like always scrubbing your face with it was kind of nasty. While I thought it was like, it smelled good and it felt refreshing, like I, I did not like the whole concept. Then I had an e.l.f. haul. <laughs> so the first thing I got was the Beauty Shield SPF Moisturizer. I remember not liking this because like, there was some issue and it wound up like giving me trouble like pumping or it broke or something and I couldn't actually ever finish it up. Then I got this, the Hydrating Coconut Mist. I actually do like this a lot. This is like a really good like, refreshing coconut spray. It is something I would definitely purchase again if they still sell it. I know sometimes they don't keep their products very long, but I feel like that really made me super glowy. But yeah, I do like this product a lot. And I also got the Beauty Shield Eye Serum. I don't remember that. I remember it looked really fancy, but I don't think it did anything fancy. <laughs> then I got some free stuff. I got their clear lip lacquer. I think at that point I still owned it. So I put that aside for a giveaway. I got this blush. This is, I guess the shade is called blushing. It's like one of their original blushes i don't know it's really really cheap i think it's like two or three dollars but it's kind of like a baby pink kind of shade for two dollars it's not a bad deal i will say it's the same packaging that their little like finishing powder is on in and, and that one broke on me so i'm always worried that this is gonna break and then i also got this little eyeshadow duo this is called pink pal and it's like a matte brown and like a satin pink i mean it's really nice for like an easy two shadow look. Oh, I got one of my all-time favorite cream highlighters that I can never find anymore. This is their Beautifully Bare Glow Stick in Pink Pearl. This is seriously my all-time favorite cream <laughs> highlighter. I wear it all the time, at, in, especially in the summer, and I can't ever find it to link it. It's one of the best free things I ever got from e.l.f. Then I had an Allure Beauty Box. I got two Wander Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks. I have used those up. I don't really like the Wander Beauty eye masks. They're not a favorite of mine. I got the Kenra Dry Oil Control Spray. I couldn't find this anywhere. I don't really have any memory of it, so I don't know. Okay, I did pull this out of my backup drawer because I just recently finished one. This is the Firstly Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. I really do like this product. It's a really nice moisturizing primer. I definitely recommend it. I've gone through a bunch of those little minis. I got this self tanner. This is the Saint Tropez self tan, uh, like it's a water mousse. 
I remember having a lot of issues with this getting streaky. I don't know. I also don't know if it was supposed to be that color. I'm gonna have to look into that. I don't know. I just like other self tanners a lot better. Maybe I'll try this one day on my legs, like a test spot and see if it works. I really like the Saint Tropez two hour express. Like that's my go-to all time most reliable self tanner. I got the Klee Melting Powder Lip. This was a powder that when you put it on your lips, it became like a lip, like a lip, liquid lipstick kind of feeling. It was odd. I did, I did declutter it. I got a sheet mask, a hair sheet mask from L'Oreal. I don't remember this one at all. I think this is, is this our last haul here? I think we're on the last haul. Woo! It's a big one, but it's another Ulta freebie bag, but this is our last hurrah. Okay, so Makeup Revolution was buy one get one half off, and this is when the Foundation 6 first launched. I did not like the Foundation 6. I have since decluttered it. The only one I kept is F11 because I like this as a cream contour shade. And it's funny because I literally said, this is my first time trying cream contour. So it's been two years of me cream contouring here. I also bought the Ulta Beauty Full Coverage Liquid Concealer. I said I bought this on Jessica Braun's recommendation and it's funny because I think it was last month or the month before I did finish this product up finally and I said I do not actually like it. I bought two products from the Wet n Wild Flights of Fancy collection. First was a gloss in the shade Featherless. I did like this but I did not like it enough to keep it and I did declutter it. And then I also got the Don't Flutter Yourself blush which is so cute and so pretty. So I really like that still. I bought a uh, Maybelline Total Temptation set and it came with the mascara and the brow pencil. The mascara I actually genuinely enjoyed. The brow pencil is not a favorite. It's like a kite shaped. It's got a weird spoolie. I do need to just finish this one up. That's just the, the truth. But out of the two products, I like the mascara better. I got an Ulta Beauty Gel Eyeliner in the shade Peacock. Let's see, we're gonna swatch this swatch right here. It's really pretty, but I often forget to reach for it because I do. And that's why I shot my stash. I'm purposely bringing in one colored eyeliner every month. So I remember to reach for them. I bought the Kathleen Lights Trio from the Dream Street collab. It's funny because at this point in the video, I was saying, I was still debating if I wanted the Dream Street palette. I feel like I had so much, so many eyeshadows like it. Girl, wait till you find out that it becomes your favorite palette. But I did buy the Dream Street lip bundle. I really do like these still. Gosh, there's so much. Okay, now the freebie bag, here we go. And there were two in this video. So one was specifically Ulta Beauty brand, the other was miscellaneous. So in the Ulta Beauty one, we got a hair tie, I got oil blotting sheets, I got the automatic eyeliner in the shade black, and I actually decluttered that a few months ago after I tried it in a video and it really did not perform well. We got the automatic brow pencil, which is odd. It's an odd product. I need to kind of try it out and see if I still want it or not. I got the Lip and cheek color stain in the shade mauve. I keep this with my cream blushes. It's the shade. It's really pretty. Oh, this is a spoiler for anyone who keeps up with my shot my sash, because this is in my shot my sash. The eye color stick in the shade champagne. Nothing comes off. It's completely dried out. I mean, like I could dig into my skin and no product would show up. So after the next shot my sash recap, this will have to be cluttered because it died. And then there's also a face contour stick crayon similar to those, but that one I since have declutter. And now for the rest of the freebies, here we go. We got a set of the Sexy Hair Sexy Suds Shampoo and Conditioner. I think it came in a blue bottle. I don't really remember it, so yikes. I got the Kenra Miracle Leave-In again, but I had already not liked that, so I think I got rid of it. I got the Mario Badescu Aloe Vera Toner. I feel like this was okay, but Mario Badescu is a brand that I really enjoy. I got the Mamond Pore Clay Mask. I don't know, clay masks kind of all feel the same to me. So, and they dry up so quickly, so it's not really something I buy anymore. I got the Lime Crime Unicorn Hair, and no, I did declutter this. Uh, that was before I went wild and dyed my hair, so. Even now, I mean, the pink's almost completely gone. So, no, I did not keep that. I got the Julep Cleansing Oil. I do not remember that at all. I got two perfume samples. I got the Maybelline Great Lash. <laughs> did not keep that. I got the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. I feel like I've gotten this a bunch and I've never actually tried it because I've never heard good reviews on it. So, that's the tea. I got the Diva Curl Leave-In Mask. I think I tried this, like I left it in overnight. I didn't really 
get any amazing results from it. I got the Ico. That's where I draw the line liner. This was maybe one of the 3,000 times I've gotten that eyeliner. And uh, no, I do not like it. I don't understand why that is the most common eyeliner that I always get no matter what, but no, I do not like it. As far as foil packet samples go, I wound up getting seven different samples. I got the Lime Crime Diamond Crushers in the shade Lit. I did not really know what the Diamond Crushers were until I tried this, and it is it is literally just a stick of glitter that you go like this and your entire lips are covered in glitter. It's, I don't have that anymore. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. I got the Kula Dawn Patrol Classic Primer. This is okay. It's like a very smoothing primer. It's nice that it has SPF in it, but I don't really feel like I need SPF in my primer since I put SPF on every morning. I got the Ulta Beauty Poreless Face Primer. Very similar to Professional. I do no longer have that. I got a Purity Moisturizer. I don't really like Purity products. My mom really likes Purity, so usually anytime I do get anything Purity, I automatically give it to her. I got the Living Proof Styling Cream. I'm not really a fan of that product, so I think I donated it. I got the NYX Worth the Hype Mascara. I did try this out. I don't, I don't think it's worth the hype. <laughs> it's not a favorite of mine. I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in the shade Saint Tropez. I really can't find it. I don't know if I decluttered it. But I cannot find that shade, so maybe I decluttered it. I got a sample of the Fursy Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. These are not the ones from two years ago. I have used those up. These are the ones that I got in uh, BoxyCharm a couple months ago. I like these. I think they're good. It's not an all-time favorite product of mine. Like, when I do get them, I use them. But it's not a product I feel like I need to go out and purchase personally. I got a sample of the Benefit Roller Lash. I do love this mascara so much. But I really like the Thrive Lash Ex Liquid Lash Extension. And I saw this was an add-on in Ipsy. This month and I was so close to doing the $3 add-on but I was like you know what you like Thrive so much you have a backup of your Thrive just use that you don't need to buy more roller lash. The last product was the Garnier Foaming Micellar Cleanser and I really do think I liked that but I can't really remember. Well another month of losing my breath over going over my purchases. You have to let me know if you guys like these videos. Did you guys buy any of these products? How do you guys feel about these products? Whew, how have your spending habits changed? I mean, I still feel like I do buy a lot, but I feel like I'm more conscious in about what I buy. What about you guys? Let me know in the comments. And as usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.